2020 is an important anniversary. It marks 50 years since President Nixon created the Environmental Protection Agency and the modern environmental law era began. But half a century down the road, amidst political unrest, racial injustice, a global pandemic, and continually warming climate, you have to ask, what is there to celebrate? What has environmental law accomplished? Do environmental laws actually work? Well, let's go back to the 1970s to examine some evidence. By that time, there was so much dangerous pollution that rivers caught fire. Smog actually killed people, species were being hunted to extinction, and there was a general disregard for human health. This is when we saw the creation of some of the laws and agencies that have had major roles in shaping the world around us today. Laws like the Clean Air and Clean Water Acts, which are supposed to keep our air breathable and our waters swimmable, fishable, and drinkable. Another novel law was the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA, which required, for the first time ever, serious consideration of environmental impact before we act. And of course, the EPA was created to promote these laws and ideas that would go on to spread around the world. Then followed hazardous waste regulations that were put in place to keep dangerous and toxic materials handled safely. But underlying and driving the action in Congress were millions of individuals demanding change for a healthier, safer planet. They wrote books, they protested, they held the first Earth Day, and they marched on the streets, sparking an environmental movement that is still very much alive today. So that's it, right? Case closed and problem solved. Well, not exactly, of course. Things have gotten tricky over the last 50 years when it comes to environmental law. You see, environmental laws, like any laws, are based on compromise. And it's the judicial branch that deals with the ambiguities around this compromise after Congress writes a law and the executive enacts it. This is where environmental lawyers come in. The job of environmental lawyers and other environmental professionals is to make environmental regulations successful. Often they have to balance the goal of protecting the environment against the interests of private companies, which are sometimes in conflict. Environmental lawyers serve many clients, including private companies, government agencies like the EPA, and nonprofit organizations, all of whom are interested in the environment. Many thousands of people make up this system of checks and balances, guided by many of the same laws that people advocated for 50 years ago. We've learned a lot and we've come a long way, but we certainly haven't solved everything. So, what role can you play? Click the link at the end of this video to learn more about the last 50 years of environmental law and to access lesson plans and other materials.